Welcome to the VFX Show. You read the title. Let's get into this. When rendering out scenes for 3D compositing, you want to render out multiple passes to manipulate those passes individually to better match your scene. Duh, obviously. <laughs> but when you select the passes you desire, you can get really grainy images like this. That looks like a George Sura, George, George, George Sura, George Sura. painting because it looks like a pointillism painting. <laughs> Well, anyway, fine. I know how to fix this. Up my samples, but wait, look at those render times. Ugh. Go back down. Wait, I know how to fix this. The denoise tool. Ah, there we go. A smooth render, but wait once more. My render passes are still pointillistic in nature. What in the Sam hell is going on here? Are you telling me that the denoise tool only denoises the beauty passes and not the render passes? Yup, that's what I'm telling you. What the fuck, Blender? Do you have another solution? Indeed. You're the best, Blender. Don't mention it! In Blender 2.8, they implemented a new denoise node in the compositor. So throw that old sticky denoiser in the garbage where it belongs and do this. All you need to do is in your layer properties menu, go to passes and select denoising data. Then add a denoise node, plug your image into image, plug your denoising normal to normal, plug your denoising albedo to albedo, and your image will be denoised in the composite very accurately. Now shift D, duplicate your denoiser, plug the denoising normal and albedo in the respective slots, but then send whatever pass you want into the image and boom your pass is magically smooth and it's become more of a smooth oil painting. Now you can send that to a file output node into a multi-layer EXR, import it into After Effects, use extractor to separate each pass and now you got full control of all those passes. Did I just make a one minute and 50 seconds long video when it could have taken 15 seconds? Yes, but what's the fun in that? I also need those sweet, sweet watch minutes. Thanks for watching my tutorial and yes, I did take a note out of the format from Ian Huber in CG Matter, but hey, imitation is the best form of uh, stealing.